It's Georgia and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing one of my most requested videos, which is my workout routine. I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me to the gym today. I have Rachel over here with me and she's going to help me film um, my workout for you guys today and just show you what I get up to when I'm at the gym pretty much. Um, today we're doing an upper body session. So I train different um, areas of my body each time I come to the gym, but upper body has been one of my favorites recently. So I'm excited to show you guys that today, but we are going to get going, head into the gym and um, yeah, we'll bring you guys along with us. We are lost. We are lost. We are lost. We are lost. a little bit but we've gotten our workout sorted so as I said before we're doing upper body uh, but predominantly focusing on our arms today we're doing five to six depending on how we feel by the end of our workout <laughs> five to six arm exercises and then one core just to engage that area um, it's really good to have strong core when you're doing like any exercises but especially when we do like arms and stuff um, yeah we like to join core and arms together that's what I was gonna say Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to take you through our workout now and then we've already warmed up on the um, treadmill but that's like boring and basic so we just jump on that for five minutes, get our whole body um, warm and ready to exercise and then we jump in and get started with our workout. A quick disclaimer before we jump into the workout, I'm not like an accredited trainer, I don't have any qualifications at all, I'm simply just doing what I've found to work best for my body and just showing you guys what I do so please you know before you like jump into any of these workouts make sure you have someone with you just for safety or you have someone show you how to do it correctly but I just wanted to let you guys know I'm just sharing with you guys what I do and yeah giving you guys a bit of an insight into what I do in the gym but anyway let's get on to the workout so in this one I do um, 15 reps and then I repeat that three times. All of these exercises that I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you the reps, but I do this whole process three times over. We are We are lost. I do 15 on each arm. Make sure you keep like the top half up here of your body still um, because otherwise you're using excess muscles and you're really putting yourself at risk of hurting yourself. Um, but yeah, just try and stabilize the top half of your body when you come up and make it really, really controlled for maximum muscle usage. Also, I quickly mentioned that um, by the end of like your set, so on your third set, you should be really struggling to finish the set. Um, that's what I do in most of my workouts. If I end every workout giving it all that I have, um, even if just like your normal exercises, if you feel like you have more energy in the tank or more to give, then I'll go and do like another exercise or I'll go on the treadmill for a little bit longer and just absolutely smash myself. Not every time I work out because, you know, that's just not maintainable, but three out of my five, six sessions, I really try and go for it and yeah, really feel fatigued by the end. You should be like struggling, hardcore, and I am every time. <laughs> so the next one, um, again, we're gonna do 15 and do this three times. We are lost. We are lost. 
Trust. Yeah, so the next one's tricep dips, and again, we do 15 of these. Um, and this is my last set, so these ones tend to be a little bit shaky, but just do your best to like control your body and stabilize your upper movement. high weight so as like big of a weight as I can handle and so I only do this one 12 times but I would recommend starting lighter to get your technique right before you like jump up to a really high weight. One more. Oh, my arms are dead. Smash it. Oh. Okay, so then um, once I finish my workout, um, I will go back onto the treadmill. I choose like any like cardio equipment. So sometimes I'll do like cross trainer or something. But today I'm gonna jump on the treadmill and just go for like five minutes. I put the um, speed up to six and a half. So I pop that up. Sometimes I put the incline up as well, but today we're just going to do 6.5, a fast paced walk, um, just to warm down and really kick start um, your fat loss. If you're wanting to strip that like extra stubborn fat, I highly recommend trying putting your cardio or something like this um, with high intensity at the end of your workout. This group, feel my own adrenaline. Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah. Okay guys, so that is the end of my workout routine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along to the gym with me and getting a bit more of an insight into what I actually do at the gym because I get a lot of questions on it and it's been very, very requested. Huge thank you to Rachel for coming and helping me film that because without her, this honestly would not <laughs> have been possible. So you're, you're an absolute legend. Show them the time. That's the time we're going to bed. <laughs> Very tired. But thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all in a video very, very soon. Bye, guys. Adria, how do you get such good angles? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Look at how that board is shaking. Why have I not been sitting on this the whole time, to be honest? And you can bounce. And booty shake. This is what it looks like. <laughs> and then I'll do the outro outside. What are you doing?